Hello YouTube, Stottle here of Stottle's Throttles, and we are here to complete the LEGO Star Wars 7180 B-Wing at Rebel Control Center. And the only piece that we had left was actually building the control center itself. Now you don't get a lot of sets like these these days. Uh, once again, this set was $29.95 when it started. Came with a spaceship, three minifigures, including the astromech and uh, Jerry here. I think I named him Jerry in the last video. Huh? Oh well. Um, anyhow, um, you actually get like a in-depth uh, command center here. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and build that. That is the only thing that remains. Okay, so, yep, as you can see here, that's the objective. We'll go ahead and separate out the big pieces again, just to make my life easier. I think that that's a good angle to build from there. Yeah, I'll have to figure something out as far as desks go to really uh, get the ball rolling. Because obviously making it on my bed is just not as uh, professional, in my honest opinion. And I'm sure you guys would agree that uh, the bed is just not the ideal place to uh, build in this way. Once again, I don't have much to say right now, so I'm just going ahead and uh, doing the actual building process here. Oh, that's loose. But yeah, I figured uh, it would be a good idea to separate the videos up a little bit just because that other video with the B-Wing itself took like 50 minutes. And um, I figure this one will take between like 15 to 30 at the most. But it's not that complicated of a build, so we'll see. Hopefully I'm able to continue to upload at least three videos a week. On my current schedule, I think that that's an achievable number. Um, that's on top of me trying to figure out my sleep schedule and me also getting ready for the school year by going into lockdown mode again. Because I didn't sign up for no germ factory, you know. School is a germ factory. I'm not currently in school, but I got people I live with who are in school, and that's a germ factory. So I just generally tend to avoid this time of year. Like I might go see some friends and do stuff like that, but I gotta dedicate more time to myself, getting my health back in check and shit like that. Because I haven't been able to do that over the summer. I've been balancing out more so family time and maybe not as much friend time, but you know, shit that I gotta work on. I presume no see the thing is that nobody watches my videos this long that I'm aware of. If you do, please go ahead and give me a comment because I can't tell who's watching for how long, you know, like it gives me some stats, but not enough to make those conclusions. 
Uh, so if you do watch this long, just go ahead and flash and let me know, yo, how you doing? You know, what's up? Because, yeah, like I said, my presumption is that most people who view this video are going to click out of it, like, fairly in a speedy, speedy manner, you know. But hey, who knows? I could be wrong. I'm going to admit, this is one of my favorite pieces. This is the Command Station um, hologram from the movie. As you can see there. And a uh, really unique piece here. I wonder how much these pieces themselves actually sell for. But I'll be honest, as a kid, I would have freaked out over this. This, this alone... Uh, I mean, if you combine the whole set, like I said in the last video, it would have been a 10 out of 10. But this alone, the command center, just the capabilities as a kid to play out the scenes with, uh, you know, Nadine, I think his name was, Nadine. And then uh, Mon Mothma, Han Solo, everybody hanging out in the command center like that. Man. That's, of course, on the presumption that uh, you can come across all those minifigures. Because not all are included. Like, this set should have been... There, there have been upgraded versions of the Rebel base that have come out since then as well. Um, separate from the B-Wings. That's the unfortunate part. They used to do the two-in-ones with these sets where you get the Starship build and then you get the base. And, uh, you know, these days, you don't exactly get that. Most of the time they will separate those things, um, which is unfortunate.
I mean, the closest thing I can think of would be like Yavin and uh, Darth Vader's, um, you know, uh, Mustafar Castle Fortress. Um, those do come with like little mini starfighters, but they're like minis. You know, they're like they're like little babies, little baby ships. Not that they're bad builds or anything. They just, uh, you know, this is a full size fighter. And then I, I guess you could say that those are a bit bigger of builds, of course. But honestly, man, if Lego wants to make money, man, I got a whole ton of ideas of things that they should bring back and do. They might lose some money on the shorthand, but um, they'd make it back in the long run, right? Honestly, this base itself is probably something that I would, uh, like, go and modify, like, after the hand. Like, I feel like, and, and who knows if I will or won't at this point, but I would, like, add to it. Like, I have a whole bunch of pieces that I need to still organize in a video um, that I have yet to get to. And needless to say, that video should be pretty good. Um... And those are pieces that I would just use on, like, rando sets. that Because they just don't really matter too much at the end of the day. They're not really in use right now. And, um... This is the sort of thing I would honestly upgrade.
They used to have this unique feature with these sliding doors here. Now they're not perfect by any means. As you can see, they get off track, but uh, that's always fun that you could like slide those apart. That's pretty cool. I have another set that's like that as well. Now this is something that always came with the B-Wing, like I remember this in my 07 B-Wing set. Always love this, and I think uh, some of the uh, Naboo fighters, at least one of the ones that I got, had something like this with a little tool chest here. It's always fun, fun little additions.
And like I said, this is just the part where I take care of little bits and pieces that didn't fit in and sort of squeeze them into the set in different areas. Uh, So our, this R2 unit can kind of chill here. gets to drive his little thing so overall it's an okay build um, based off of the time now this is merely a five or six out of ten really um, but back in the day it was really something because like I said this set would have come just came with so much um, like I mean compare this to a battle pack this is like a 10 out of 10 with everything that it features so just the rest of it here they came with these cute little comic strips with like, you know, little things that the characters are doing in their spare time. You got some uh, scout troopers there, probably to advertise some other projects. They come up with like some makeshift ships, just some ideas for you. And then they do kind of show off what the set features, some of the alternative builds. They include more of the comic, more of the alternative builds. And then they actually show you how to build one of the alternative builds, which they just don't do anymore. Like, LEGO used to be so much more fun. Like, this this is just, you know, fantastic here. But overall, pretty decent set. Pretty fun little build here. Um, once again, just because of how time has changed, I, I'd say 6 out of 10 because I'm comparing it to, like, the battle pack that I built last night. Just all the features that it comes with are truly incredible. Anyhow, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. That's about all for now. Uh, we've hit 25 minutes, uh, so thank you once again. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, like I said, we're fledgling. Uh, we could use as much you know, attention on the channel as we can get. So uh, thank you very much, guys. Just another, uh, well, I'll do another little brief little walkthrough here. So once again, he's just driving this around, and then we got this. No way to really dock the B-Wing in an effective way besides, like, laying it down on its side. And uh, I'll go ahead and bring this back out here. So, like, you, can, you could, like, put it on top of there, but, like, not really effectively. Um... So that's kind of unfortunate that they didn't incorporate the things better, but that's okay. Uh, remember, this is some of the first LEGO Star Wars sets that we're talking about that we're dealing with here. So uh, definitely recommend getting this set if you get the chance, if you're into the older stuff. Otherwise, um, peace out, guys. Stay throttled. <laughs> oh, my God, that was horrible. Okay, bye. <laughs>